guys it is danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics and so guys we have quite a bit going on as you can see here we have three systems to pay attention to in the north atlantic basin we have that newly identified area of disturbed weather which is highlighted in yellow just emerging uh, from a tropical wave just off africa we have our tropical depression number two expected to become our tropical storm bill and you might be wondering where has this thing come from so we're going to be talking about that in this video and then we have our gulf disturbance in vest 92l still in the bay of campeche loitering but it is given a much higher chance to develop into a tropical cyclone and so guys before i go into all the details with these systems Okay guys, and so first things first, let's take a look at that newly identified area of disturbed weather just off Africa. And so at this time, it is given a low 20% chance to develop by the National Hurricane Center through the next five days. And so this thing here is expected to be accelerating to the west, but it really is going to be having limited time to develop. And so hostile conditions are ahead of it, which are on um, the dry air from the Saharan dust, as well as strong upper level winds, which would make the environment very hostile for this thing to develop so it really has limited time but in that shaded yellow region is where we could see some development taking place and if it is being seen that this thing is really on a developing trend and it has the potential to become a tropical cyclone it is going to be having an increase in chance by the national hurricane center and so guys let's take a look at what our models are expecting in terms of the potential intensity and so we are seeing here that we have uh just about one of the three Four models available uh, and they are all expecting this thing here to become a hurricane and I find this to be quite interesting because I doubt that this thing will be a hurricane at least in the open Atlantic as it is going to be making its way towards the Caribbean because of the hostile environment ahead of it and so guys I do not think that this thing if it develops will achieve hurricane status but again we cannot alter the possibilities it is possible but at this time it is seeming very unlikely to happen because of what is ahead of the system but, but if it manages to survive that environment and make its way to the caribbean and things are more favorable then we could definitely expect some development from the system in the caribbean guys but again we have to wait and see what is going to be taking place and so looking at satellite view of it we're not seeing much activity taking place not much shower and thunderstorm activity but we're seeing a bit of rotation with the system here but not a whole lot guys and so we really have to wait and see and once conditions will be favorable then we can expect that this thing here is going to be looking a lot better and so guys now let's move on to our newly formed tropical depression and so here we have it tropical depression number two on satellite here we're seeing that it is not the very best in terms of organization but we are expecting that it is going to be acquiring tropical storm status tonight becoming tropical storm bill our second named storm of the 2021 atlantic hurricane season and so at this time the maximum sustained winds are 35 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the northeast at 18 miles per hour so moving just a little slower than it was earlier today and so we're expecting this thing here to be well offshore of the u.s and it is expected to become post-tropical by the midweek and it is going to be eventually dissipating guys and so fortunately this thing here not expected to be much of a threat to land but parts of eastern canada could be affected by this system maybe with some inclement weather but it isn't expected to last long guys and so at this time there are no watches or warnings that are in place and so as i said fortunately this thing here is not a threat to land and now let us move on to that gulf disturbance and so as you are seeing from the national hurricane center's five-day outlook this thing here is now given a 70 percent chance to develop into a tropical cyclone guys and so the chance has increased a lot and uh, it is likely that the Gulf Coast will definitely be affected at least by a tropical depression. Again, it isn't guaranteed to happen, but we are seeing the potential for this to at least become a tropical depression. And so what is the next name after Bill? So the next name is Claudette. And if you're curious about if we have a third development, that system would be named Danny if it develops. And in this case, that newly identified area of disturbed weather just off the coast of Africa, guys. And so 
or Invest 92L, which is our glow of disturbance here. It's still loitering in the Bay of Campeche, but as time goes by, we're expecting a general northward movement of it, and it is going to be making its way to the Gulf Coast of the U.S. And most likely, Louisiana is going to be the area of impact, and because we see that that is where that shaded region that the National Hurricane Center has is trending towards. And so with this in place, then it is likely that we can definitely have a tropical cyclone headed towards Louisiana. And so if you're there, not just Louisiana, but I would say going from Texas to the Florida Panhandle, you really want to take the necessary precautions and stay safe because this thing could surprise us, especially when it comes onto the path of it. And so guys, looking at what our models are expecting in terms of its maximum intensity, we're expecting that its peak intensity will be at a tropical storm as what is seen by our models here. And we have some that are not expecting it to reach tropical storm status. And that is certainly possible. It doesn't have to develop into a tropical cyclone, but we have most models agreeing that this thing here is going to eventually achieve tropical storm status, guys. And so in terms of its track, as seen by the models, we don't have much models of Available, but we have two trending towards Louisiana and one taking it over to Texas and so it is certainly possible that it could go on any of these routes here because as I said these systems can surprise us but we're generally expecting a northward movement and most likely Louisiana could be affected by this also Texas guys and so if you're in those locations you want to really be cautious and, and so let us look at conditions persisting across the Atlantic so in terms of ocean temperatures very supportive at this time for or Gulf disturbance to develop uh, that disturbance just off Africa there really has a chance to develop as well but again we have other factors and we're going to be moving on to that wind shear map in the Saharan dust map soon and then going further up to the northeast where we have our tropical depression to the ocean temperature isn't the very best there but and so for that reason it is really going to be a short-lived tropical cyclone guys and so Taking a look at the wind shear map, we're seeing that across the Caribbean and parts of the Gulf, especially the southern section, we have quite a bit of strong shear, which is indicated by the reds. The yellows indicate neutral shear and the greens mean favorable shear, guys. And so as time goes by, we're expecting that conditions are going to be increasingly favorable, especially going down into the peak of the season, going to August and September. Uh, we will have a lot of favorable conditions that are really going to be pushing these systems. And I mean, seeing so many disturbances or so much activity in June could mean really bad news for the rest of the hurricane season guys and so this season is expected to be quite active and so we can expect a lot more tropical activity going down into this year and so in terms of the Saharan earlier forecast so this is 5 p.m. today and we're seeing here that we have some dry air making its way across the Gulf and parts of the Caribbean and we have another dense plume making its way from Africa westward and so this is what is really going to be preventing that disturbance to develop after a while guys because it is going to be in countering the dust and tropical cyclones like bacteria need warm moist conditions in order to grow and to survive and so with all of that being inhibited then the system is eventually going to be dissipating and so guys we really have to wait and see what the outcome is going to be for all of these systems here and again if you're along the Gulf Coast of the US please be cautious because we have our invest 92L given a high chance of developing our tropical depression number two expected to become tropical storm bill is not a threat to land as of right now and, and it is going to be making its way from the US and we have that new disturbance just to the southeast of the Cabo Verde Islands of Africa right there given a low chance to develop and so at this time the, if you're in the Caribbean you don't really need to be on alert because this system has a good chance of not developing and so guys that is it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can and just remember to always be otherwise and of course I'll keep you updated on the latest in the tropics as time goes by.